Alright, everybody. Let's get back into my GM. Just freaking lost another game. <laughs> Online. It was actually pretty close, though. Me and the guy kept going back and forth, and he managed to get me at the end. It's always better to lose the... Well, I guess some people say it's better to lose the close games, but it's also worse to lose the close games. But I'm in the mindset that as long as I played a good game with the guy, it's okay to lose. Alright. Oh, what the frick happened here? Uh, small fort. Don't I have a better small fort? I'm ba Matt Barnes. Alright, let's put him in there. John Wall, Eric Gordon, Thad Young. Oh boy, Michael Beasley. Alright. Let's try to do this. All systems go. The Nuggets primed and ready. On the road, looking for a win against the Western Conference rival, the Dallas Mavericks are ready for this thing to get started. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got an action pack. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Thanks for joining us. Here with me tonight, Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. Now a chance to check out tonight's starting lineups. In breaking down the game, let's take a look here at Matt Barnes. You know, he's an effort player, Kevin, a guy who competes defensively. Willing to take on the opponent's best player, runs the floor. Come on, get that. Uh, uh, but very scrappy. Come on, Baka. He's going to bring in terms of energy. Yeah, he plays with an aggressive mentality. Has a great job on the boards. The Nuggets with their last game here in Denver before heading back out on the road. Well, compared to last season, you'd have to say the start to this season has not been quite what you expect. They hope to, they hope to improve their record with the win tonight, certainly. Seeing where the Nuggets are, I mean. They've looked like a different team to start this season, and not in a good way. They've played rather poorly based on what was expected of them. Yeah, this is a team we expect to be in that battle for the top seed, and instead questions about whether they'll even make the playoffs now. I know it's early, but there have to be some concerns in that locker room. Well, it's been an yes. interesting few years for Darren Williams, and a lot of controversy involving his coaches. So Williams, there we go. for stability, and also I think looking for maybe an improved reputation as this season unfolds. Now here's Wall. He had 10 points in the win against Utah. And Kevin, a remarkable night for him, passing the ball, just racking up the assists. Beasley against Barnes. And Wall kicks to Pekovic. Puts up the baby hook. Yes. Now here's Williams. He had 13 points in the win against Chicago. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. And it's Eric Gordon with the... Ah, uh, okay. Blocking foul. Thought it might have been a charging foul. I like the call. I thought the defense was moving there. Yeah, I think he slid underneath. Good blocking call that trip. On defense, Dallas. Williams dishes to a ah. Young with the steal. That's a tough pass to make on the interior. So close to the hoop. Not much spacing. Gordon goes in for three. Beasley. God dang it. Gets it to go. Going back to Williams Clark and the coaching change. Do you think uh, he had a hand in that or not? It's so hard to speculate. It really is, Kevin. I agree with you there. I think it's overblown, quite honestly. You have to remember playing in the Big Apple, the storylines will abide. Come on, man. And they sometimes can take on a life of their own. Oh, the same thing happened in Utah now, too, under him. Yeah, well, again, I think some of that, there may have been a little bit to it, but again, I think overblown is the best way to look. And he gets it to go. Yeah, three out of four from the floor, so a good start for this club. Uh. And the layup fall. Awesome. Weak defensive coverage there, and I'm pretty sure they didn't plan on starting this game out like that, giving such easy access to the rim. And stolen by Darren Williams. Crops in the breakaway layup. Williams has got six. Great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and trigger the fast break. Wow, and now it's just a one possession game thanks to that quick hitter. Fantastic basketball in the open floor. Now here's Wall, averaging 14 points a game. Pass to Barnes. God dang it, come on! 
Beasley with it. And it's Johnson picking him up. Bekovic passes to Young. It's stolen by Johnson. Williams against Wall. Outside Williams. Freaking pass it! Oh my god, I'm freaking pressing the button! Jeez! Williams has got eight points. Plays off to a good start, and he's a guy who we know. I mean, if he gets going early, he's going to be problems all day. Easily outside. There's the dish to Pekovic. Ah. He gets it to go. Pekovic has got his second bucket tonight. There's another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively so far. Yeah, I think that could really set things up well the rest of the game. Pound the ball inside and then let your perimeter players play off your bigs. The more touches he gets, the more this lead will grow. He has just been unconscious this quarter. Outside Gordon. Skola against Pekovic. For three, Gordon. My. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. And Denver's out to take their first time out here. This game coming on the heels of their win against Chicago. Yeah, it didn't seem to be much of a challenge for them uh, in that game. It seemed like... Uh, they scored at will. Not much defense that they were facing. Yep, they had the defense on its heels early the entire game, and actually nearly the entire game. And no matter what unit was out there, looked like a mismatch to me. And here is Johnson. Come on! Uh, of course, my guy can't make it, but of course, we're doing it. He makes it. Hey, look at that. It's a freaking piece of crap. They made no mistake that their plan was to run their offense through Johnson. The coach wants to get him involved early so he can establish a strong presence at that end of the floor and provide them with a well-balanced offensive attack. The other area he focused on was the need to be physical. Come on. He wants to oh, come on, <laughs> man. Kevin, we'll see how that strategy <sighs> Thank you, Doris. Now, Burks. After the miss, three from Watson. Pass to Maxia. Now here is Barbosa. He's covered by Watson. Offensive rebound. Well, he defended the shot, got back in the play, and grabbed the board. Nice play. 20 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Back to Okafer. Here is Watson. Lee kicks to Watson. It's good from long range. Nice, finally. Holy crap. Watson's got his first three points of the game. The Mavericks shooting their first free throw of the game. First free throw is good. The Nuggets making a switch here. And Barbosa drops them both. Here's Watson. Oh, good trying to beat the buzzer. Oh. God dang. I freaking hate facing the computers. Such crap. Quarter beginning in just a moment. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for them early on. Yeah, their passing has been terrific, too. Clark, uh, we're seeing a lot of assists, really moving, a lot of flow offensively. I like what I see. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So out there for the Nuggets right now, we've got Okafor. Malcolm Lee is out there with Watson. Then there's Robert Sacre, and it's Johnson in at the small forward. Last season was uh. for Robin Lopez. Career highs pretty much across the board for Lopez as he stepped into the starting center role for New Orleans. Sometimes it's just a matter of opportunity before a player gains the confidence to be productive in a starting role. Williams dishes to Johnson. Williams against Wall. Five to shoot. The Nuggets need to get a shot off here. Here's Lee outside. Good. Nice. Play by Williams to set it up. Lee's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. 
And for Robin Lopez, not the score that his twin brother Brooke is, but, you know, he's showing some signs offensively. Well, he's efficient from the field and from the foul line, and the key for him is to, to continue to work on his rim protection, his defense. Come on. Line. He's got potential uh, to be very good in that. Sacre passes to Johnson. Uh, I can never make a shot with Joe Johnson, ever. Meeting of the season. Yeah, very familiar opponent. They've played these guys an awful lot over the years, and this is the first of their four get-togethers this season. And the shot is good. Uh, the defense pretty much helpless there, stopping that layup. I think too much of a mismatch in terms of height. Williams. Come on. Johnson with it. And Roten picks him up defensively. From D, Williams. Nice. And Denver with the triple. A lot of familiarity with these two teams. Steve just got touched on Clark. You think it really does impact the rest of their matchups later in the season? Uh. It sure does. I mean, because for the winners today, they now know what game plan brought them success. So they've got a blueprint for the next meeting. For the losers, it's back to the drawing board for adjustments. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. You know, Darren Williams is so strong and so poised in the post. I'd like to see him <laughs> down on the block a little bit more often. There are very few point guards in this league who really have the strength there you to go. deal with Williams in a post-up situation. Nikola Pekovic has checked in for Dallas. Gordon comes in for Tony Roten. Now here's Gordon. He had 34 points in the win against Utah. And he really kept his head down, withdrawing contact, getting himself to the line. Played an aggressive game. That was a big time help for him and his team. And for Darren Williams, he is very close to the game. He can pass it, shoot it, drive it, kills it with the crossover. And he's got excellent size that allows him to back you down, too. He can put you in the washing machine and take you for a spin every now and then. Charging. Nice. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Guys, John Wall may be the fastest player in the league, but it's been his outside shot that's held him back from becoming a superstar. He said in his younger days, he never needed to shoot from outside and added that if he did, he shot a quote, like I was a lights out shooter, fade away, no follow through. In other words, he made the shot more difficult than it had to be. Now he says, the main thing for me is using nice. the speed and shooting on the way up. Guys, he's put a lot of work into his shot, and we're starting to see the results. Well, as his shooting comes along, that's a great way for him to really find his niche, Doris. Thanks. And here's Denver. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Barnes up top, defended by Young. Kicks it to Johnson. Knocked away. Here's Williams. Yes. That's been a great day for him. And if you remember, he gave them a huge performance their last time out as well. Now Young inside. Ah. Comes off the assist by John Wall. Wall's got three assists tonight. Those defenders look like they're out of gas. I mean, they're getting pushed around on the low block. Well, their energy is lacking. They've got to start playing. Come on! Battle down in the paint. The finish. Oh! oh are you kidding me? Uh, that was a uh, right there. Oh, great. Boy, I love it. Action uh, on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. And that replay sponsored by Kia, the Kia Slam Cam, giving us a great look at that one. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. Maxiel comes in for Thaddeus Young. And Tabo Cephalosha subbed in for Michael Beasley. Nice. Okafer gets the bucket. Getting better and better. Got that field goal percentage up in the 60s now. Now they've dialed it in here in the second quarter. They are on fire. You know, it's pretty hard not to ask the question after the Nuggets were... Oh, my God. I hate how they could get it right in there. Screw you. ...constructed for the regular season than the playoffs. One ten left here in the second. Here's Watson. Shot is blocked. Ogiver dishes to Blair. The pass to Barnes. He feeds it to Okafor. They shoot again. Come on. 
That was freaking ridiculous. What the freak? And with this quick break, we can show you the list of the most explosive shooting guards in the NBA so far. Fifth, Eric Gordon. Well, night after night, we see this group punish opposing defenses. If you pick one way to deal with them, they'll just find another way to beat you. Well, when you look at those numbers, you can tell that among the NBA's perimeter players, Steve, they're as explosive as it gets. There you go. It takes a lot of energy expended to defend any of them. You know, continuing to talk about the Nuggets, it is a fair question to ask because this group, Steve, has been so successful in the regular season, but has yet to match. <sighs> they make every three. Out of the first round one time in the last nine seasons. So, I, you know, I think it's a fair question, Kevin. I, I think you can win playing fast, but you have to have balance. Look at the Spurs last year. They played a very high tempo, uh, but they played excellent Come defense on. as well. You've got to have some kind of a balance to win in the postseason. Al Barbosa shoots. That misses. What if Gordon had it gone in? Here with oh, Johnson. come on. Joe Johnson's doing nothing anyways. Sprint. The fun is... The Clippers... The Sprint. Let's go. Report presented by Sprint. Here we go now. The start of the third quarter. Welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. It's been a great game for Williams tonight. He has 17 points, and he's done his job at the charity stripe. He's gotten four of his points from there. And that's a good place to get them. You know, they don't come easier than that, but you've got to get yourself there first. On the floor. Come on, pick that out. All out there with Gordon. And it's Young. Then there's Beasley. And it's oh, come on. The center, filling out the middle. Looking at Dallas, they took that win in their last game against the Utah Jazz. Yeah, it didn't seem to be much of a challenge for them in that game. It seemed of like course. they scored at will. Not much defense that they were facing. Yep, they had the defense on its heels early the entire game, and actually nearly the entire game. And no matter what unit was out there, it looked like a mismatch to me. So the wing on the left, and here's Barnes for three. Come on, man, you're wide open. Come on. Have been a terrific franchise since the turn of the century 11 straight 50 win seasons third longest streak in nba history oh my god come on but as much success as this team has enjoyed it's also shown a restless eye unusually willing to part with holy crap dude tyson chandler and with the Mavs of late unable to attract the top free agents with their cap space, some fans might be left wondering if perhaps they should have danced with the ones who brought them. Guys? Interesting, Doris. Thanks. Mavericks leading by three. He's made a name for himself in the league as being one of the best undersized fours out there, guys. <sighs> can go up against somebody who's much taller than him and still find a way to pump fake his way to a hoop. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Wall passes to Pekovic. Oh my god, come on, man! He's got ten. He's created opportunities for himself and made the most of it. And Skola Steve at 6'9, not the biggest, the most athletic player certainly on the floor, but he does a good job on the glass. He, he seems to be a very solid player. And he plays very physically you know, on defense. He, he's not afraid to get into you. Uh, probably struggles to defend the more athletic players, but uh, I think Skola is one of the smarter, uh, savvier players we have in this league. Here's Beasley. Darren Williams picking up that last basket. Just five to shoot. Walls shot is off. Now still a great start to the half after hitting their first three even before that miss. And Pekovic gets the whistle that time. Mavericks making a switch here. Lopez is checked in. Denver calls timeout. Looks like he saw some things out there that he needed adjusting and uh, wants to talk it over a little bit with his club. I don't think you can ever go wrong burning the timeout if you see something you don't like and you need to take Oh my god. Doris Burke has for us. Oh, come the freak on, man. But that they cannot give up any more easy looks inside. He made that crystal clear. Probably a good time to make some changes with a good chunk of the second half still to go, Kevin. Thank you, Doris. Here's Ibaka. Oh, my God. Come on. Stola kicks to Johnson. 
Yeah, you really messed that, Joe Johnson. Holy crap, this dude's doing nothing! I should trade him! Oh my god, man. Thanks a lot, Joe Johnson. You freaking suck, dude. Ball against Williams. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. He's really kind of a showman, Kevin. I mean, he loves the, the pass. He loves, you know, the, the flair. He gets out in transition, finds guys with no look passes, and puts them on the money. He is fun to watch. And you've got to respect his willingness to give up his body. Step in, absorb the contact, and put his body on the line to draw a charge. That's definitely one of his specialties. Now here's Gordon, averaging 25. Uh, come on! Stop him! Right Holy crap! They've been operating very efficiently. It's Williams with the drive. Shoots from 12. He squares up and sinks it. Williams has got six in the quarter. His shooting has been so good today. He may have to take it upon himself to try to get his club out of this hole. Here's Young. Denver grabs the miss. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through traffic. This last summer, the Mavs asked fans to submit some redesigns of their uniforms for future. Oh, years. come on! You see when a team and organization really? reaches out for the fans' input. And play stops. Whistle on what looks uh, like. Quit freaking missing wide open shots already. The Nuggets number one. Points allowed is one of the key indicators for good defense. Freaking Darren Williams is the only one who can make shots right now. Opponents in the tough shots. They don't allow easy shots. They're all on the same page. They're aggressive. They're focused. They pay attention to detail. And for 48 minutes, they're going to make their opponents uncomfortable. Mavericks making a switch here. Max Seals checked in. And back to the Mavs. Definitely a big move by them to reach out like that. Nothing like bringing crowdsourcing. To uh, come on! Fan base. You know, Kevin, I had a chance to see some of the designs uh, of the uniforms that were being suggested. Some pretty sharp looking duds, but there were some other ones that were absolutely hideous. So let's hope the decision makers in the Mavs organization pick some of the, uh, let's say, the more clean looking new uniform suggestions. Nikola Pekovic has checked in for Jason Maxey. Outside Williams. Dishes to Ibaka. Back to Williams. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> oh my God. The feed to Pekovic. All alone. Uh, now it's a they make every shot. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game. How it's been going for the Mavericks. Their high energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. And they're also really getting out in transition and scoring some hoops in the fast break tonight. So far, going for more of an inside game here in this second half, and I like that. A little smash mouth basketball, taking it inside. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Nikola Pekovic, guys, out of Montenegro, is super physical 6'11 big man. I mean, he is a battering ram offensively. He's a terrific offensive rebounder, can score around the rim, doesn't shy away from contact, and when he gets to the line, he knocks him Oh my ball. god, man! I Why? The, the AI ball. makes everything! Why can't I make everything? After the miss from Darren Williams. Kicks it out to Barbosa. Come on, get that. I tell you what, that's too good a look to pass up there. Even though it didn't go, that's one you gotta take. Got it up. No good on the buzzer beater. And a great show through. Tune in next time. Ugh, come on. And Steve, we've got a moment here to go to our State Farm assist of the game coming on some very clever point guard play. Well, he mans that position for a reason, Kevin, because he passes the ball so well, sets up his teammates beautifully, really gets this offense into a nice rhythm. Delivering the pass important, but, but putting the pass in the right place for shooters, as you well know, you. Yeah, no question. Stola out there with Ibaka. 
Then it's Johnson, and there's Darren Williams. And it's Barnes, and at the three. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. Now here's Gordon, back to Wall. The kick out to you. I agree. Six on the shot clock. Beasley for three. Uh, come on, that wasn't even a block as man. Stupid AI. Here's Williams, and he gets the bucket. Williams has got 25 points in the game. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. Love it. Old school. Just physical play in the paint. Dominate. Now, here is Young. Beasley dishes the wall. 18 feet out. Luis Scola with the rebound. Scola's got three rebounds so far in the game. More good work on the glass there. And it's all said and done. These rebound might well tell the story in this one. And that should tilt things toward him. I mean, they've been winning that battle. Here's Beasley after Joe Johnson's score. Here's Pekovic, and that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Back to Wall. And Young, here we go. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Barnes. I was about to say, if he missed that, he sucks. I don't know what's happening to their defense. I mean, they, they don't have any effort, any purpose. And it's really costing them. I mean, the last five baskets at that end have been on very easy looks. Oh, come on, man. Oh, and there's the one handed jam. Boy, I love it. Hands on the steal. Dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Hey guys, well, Brian Shaw had some advice for the team over Ma, the get the rebound! Deficit. He told us, guys, I've got confidence in you. We've had our backs against the wall before. Freaking idiots! What we need to do. Kevin, can they retake the lead? And stolen by Stola. Come on, man! Wall attacking. Passes it to Beast. And it's <laughs> Holy crap. Beasley's got four assists now tonight. Late reaction from the defense, and he's always going to make good on that. Now here's Williams. And with that, the Maverick lead is cut down to just three in the basket for Scola. It's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. I guess the good news is they've taken away the outside shot. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter how good their perimeter defense is if they're going to allow... Come on, them. miss. Get the rebound. Convert, but nice little two-man game there. And it wouldn't surprise me to see them go back to that the next trip. Johnson down low, defended by Gordon. The jump hook, it's good, and he drew yes. the down the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. Oh, come on, Joe Johnson. The Mavericks have gone three of seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the court. Williams with the block. And even three on three break. Here's Ibaka, and it's blocked by Pekovic. They retain possession. Back to Johnson. Oh, my God. Quit missing. Holy crap. Jeez. to Gordon. Screen by Young. Gordon with it. Williams picks him up. Back to Wall. For three. Oh, come on! Comes off the assist by John Wall. Wall's got six assists in the game. Williams against Wall. Williams up on top. Come on, where were you? Oh my god, where was someone and we got rebound? Oh my god! No one was there to rebound! Yeah, it sure did. A good job getting it started and a better job finishing it off. Williams attacking. 
The open shot by Johnson. And a man open shot missed by Joe Johnson. Again, this dude's getting traded. Joe Johnson is gone. Screw this dude. Joe Johnson freaking sucks. Kick out to Wood. Shot clock at six. Feeds to Scola. Oh my god. Freaking make something. God. He has 11 points and his huge assist tally makes it. He's got this team in such a good groove right now. The way he's moving the ball and passing, getting everybody involved, they're in a great flow. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Williams kicks to Barnes. The kick out to Scope. Over Beasley. And another miss by <laughs> Oh, my God. Assume he's going to knock down. <laughs> 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 Stupid game. Stupid game. Stupid game. Stupid freaking game. Stupid game. Game sucks. And that increases their lead to six. Denver calls timeout. They're behind by six. Seventeen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? Well, there's a little bit of time here to play with, so a three and a quick foul could make things interesting. Very much so. Either way you cut it, you're going to need a pair of threes and some help at the other end as well. Here is Wall. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intention. Yes. Hey, you can't let them pound the ball and just milk those precious seconds away. No other option here but to foul and hope for a few misses at the line. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. No mistakes there. I think you can close the book on this one, guys. It's done. Nine seconds left here in the fourth quarter. <sighs> This game sucks. Stupid game. Stupid freaking game. Freaking cheap. S freaking cheap! I think I, um, had a comment, actually, that said, Don't be yes, this game sucks! It does suck! This game freaking blows! Why don't you freaking get on the tank, you stupid game? Huh? Who made it? 2K? 2K, what's going on, you stupid retard? This game freaking blows! We got evidence this game blows, 2K! Stupid freaking game. Piece of crap. Freaking Joe Johnson sucks. I'm getting rid of him. Look at this. Abaka missed four shots. My God. Oh, I freaking hate this game! Every time I play it, it gives me a freaking headache! Aren't games supposed to be freaking fun and besides a freaking annoying? The only time when this game's actually fun is playing online. Because people online don't get the same freaking privileges as the AI does! The AI is broken in this game! <sighs> 